What is up, guys? Dr. Comer here, and we are back playing Boots on the Ground Call of Duty, if you can't believe that. We are finally able to play a Call of Duty that's been enjoyable. I've been playing the shit out of it, um, compared to, like, last year. I mean, last year I played Black Ops Prestige in a day, stopped playing. This, not as much time. I've got school. I've been working, school, the election was this year, you know, doing a bunch of shit, which is, that's going to be a big topic of this video, but before I get out my thoughts on the election, as you can see by the title, uh, I just want to say I am trying to come back and make at least two videos a week, two quality videos, that is, and that would be videos, like, that take time editing, not just videos that um I can just record and upload like um playthroughs so that's not gonna happen obviously if you can't tell this is a live com I really should be using the okay, the uh M16 for this oh, cool. whoa hey um Anyways, there's that. I want to get two uploads a week, like I've been saying. Um, um, uh, anyways, to back, back to what my point is with the election, or back to my, I guess, thoughts on the election. Uh, it was, this, this year was interesting, to say the least. It was very different. Obviously, from your uh, typical election, in that we had two candidates who didn't have a majority of uh, confidence from anybody, to be honest with you. Uh, nobody, nobody like liked. I guess I shouldn't say that. A lot of people were voting because they didn't want the other person to win, which, you know, doesn't happen as much as you might think, and is actually a big deal when you think about, you think about, uh, how, you know, you're supposed to vote for a president, you're not supposed to go out and vote against a president, there's a lot of... There's also a lot of big Republicans who didn't want, I guess I should say they didn't want Trump to win. They weren't supporting Trump fully, which again, very weird. Uh, normally, they have their their convention, people get butthurt because they lost, and you know, that's that. They get mad that they lost, and next thing you know, they're out supporting their, you know, their, the person that they're population of voters decided for them to support they don't really have a choice and yeah this year that was not the case they, there were many people who didn't vote for Donald Trump many prominent Republicans um, were voting for either Mitt Romney or John McCain you know throwbacks to other people that ran that they felt were more Qualified, much more qualified. Which, you know, it's hard to argue with. Um, I personally am actually one of those people that voted. I thought, my reasoning is I live in Arizona. Uh, like I said, and I figured, in my mind, I didn't think Donald Trump would be that great president. And this year, Arizona which never happens. We are as red as can be. It was a battleground state, and I voted for Hillary because, you know, I was one of those, you know, 28% of the people that voted for Hillary that purely because they didn't want Trump to win, which is really odd. I think with Obama, it was 15% of people that voted for Obama didn't win, or just voted for him because they didn't want Romney in the game. Sorry, I had to get a drink. Anyway, and the other thing is... It's, that's weird is Clinton did terrible with the minority votes. She lost, I think, 
She did 7% worse with African Americans than Obama did. 7, 8, or 9% worse, I think, with the Hispanics and Asians both, which is crazy. Let's do this. Uh, what do you think about, you know, especially, not just her, but, you know, the lib the liberals and what they, um... Enemy of Alpha! What they stand for is very favorable for most minorities who statistically are lower income and face more challenges. Now UAV is online. UAV recon standing by. Course, now UAV is online. Uh, that was that's what surprised me the most was that she did so bad with those minorities with like the major population centers in the city. I think she was poor management. She could have easily won Wisconsin and Michigan, but she decided not to campaign there because she took them for granted. Um, but you know, and that's what I think a lot of people saw in Trump. They saw someone that cared about him, or so they thought. They thought, you know, this guy cares about me, so I'm going to vote for him. Friendly chopper on the way. Our UAV is online. Securing A. So I, I really feel like Donald Trump is the best at Our UAV is online. Secure an alpha. People, he was also great at using social media. Um, secure. Which I saw someone. I'm, I'm completely stealing this from someone on CNN. Enemy UAV is airborne. Hey, secure. I understood social media more than uh, Clinton. Just like Kennedy understood TV and FBI understood. Losing Charlie! Uh, what was it? Oh, and Obama understood. We lost Charlie! The internet. So I think that was huge, but, um... The last thing I want to mention, I guess, is the people that are pissed. You know, it sucks that you lost. I understand. I didn't want him to win. I still don't think he's going to be that great of a president, but there's no reason to write him off before he even does anything. Because you can assume, you know, oh, he's going to be a terrible president. Like, how do you know that? He's, he's literally never held an office. There's no reason to think he's going to be terrible, and there's also no reason to think he's going to be amazing. It's like, he has to prove himself. This is his first time doing anything. He has to, to prove to Americans that he is the right person for the job and, you know, in four years we get to decide um, if he was good enough for us, if he was the right person, if we made the right decision. Our UAV is online. We're losing Alpha! I see all these people that are mad about the popular we know that. He knows that. Clinton knew that. Uh, and he did it right. He went out and got... You know, he might not have won a majority of the vote, but he got the votes that mattered. The, in the swing states, the people that were... You know, the moderates, so to say. He appeased them. And got them on his side. And that's what you need to do. Last thing I want to say is uh, I see people protesting. I don't know what these people are protesting. UAV is online. Uh, Airstrike standing by. An election. He, we didn't uh, decide. You no, know, he's our new dictator. He didn't just come and take over power. Or, you know, win some arbitrary competition. And they're like, well, that was rigged. That was bullshit. No, he, well, people voted for him. He got the the most electoral college votes, and that's all that 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 matters. And I think. Why why would we try a different president when FDR is doing a great job? In that case. And why and then in the I guess, you know, eight years ago decided, you know, why not elect a black person? George W. Bush did a terrible job. 
know, it's not normal, you know, you might have your own prejudices that aren't, uh, you know, involuntary prejudices, you could decide why not. Just like this year, people decided, you know, we're sick and tired of this shit. Obviously, you know, it helped to say that the government didn't do anything because it was kind of on the GOP, the House and the Senate, but, you know, we, people decided, why not? Why can't we get rid of the old, you know, his message to old Washington? Why can't we elect this guy that's never been there? And that's what's great about it. And what's also great is people don't see, you know, is you got to pay attention to your lo local le elections too. Like in Arizona, you know, we're we're GOP state anyways. And you, you might think, wow, you know, the nation's never going to get rid of this, this racism. And, you know, everyone's going to be this. But you know, we were huge. We got rid of Sheriff Joe Arpaio, and I think almost everyone in the country knew who that guy was, even though he only works in Maricopa County, one of the nine counties in Arizona. He was you know, in so much controversy that he was able to, you know, we were able to get him out, and that was huge, and, you know, so the change is happening, I think people are getting rid of the racism, and, you know, obviously minority populations growing, I don't think there's anything more, you know, we shouldn't give, you know, Trump a chance, you never know, um, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I apologize for the political video, that's gonna be the the last of them, I, I hope for now. Hopefully nothing comes up that I feel like I need to talk to you guys about. Thank you for watching.